many sisters and brothers ask questions. The brothers ask this question, it is allowed while the, while the wife is away, they can pick up their phone and they can check what's going on, just randomly. Is it allowed to do that? You know when you're walking, when you're driving a car, it says no entry, no entry. Did you ever try to go into the no entry? No, because you know this is the government lie. We try, even, even if you try to go into the no entry, the camera will catch you and you're gonna get a ticket for that and you have to pay for it. Same way Allah has a laws for the husband Allah has a law for a wife. For a wife, what is obligated for the wife? Look, Allah has given the obligations to the wife and Allah has given the obligation to the husband. Between their relation, what Allah has obligated to them, respect her, respect him. Love him, love her. Be humble to her, be humble to him. If husband is taking a drug, if he is smoking, he is going to the club, he is doing every sin that is between Allah and between the husband, that is between Allah and Ibadi. That has nothing to do with the wife. Because what is obligated from Allah to the wife to give the respect, to care and the respect and humbleness, this is what you are obligated from Allah. Because let's say for that for that person is a drunkard, he smokes, he drinks, he does drugs, he does everything. But in his family life, he loves his wife. He cares about her. He's fulfilling her all his responsibilities to her. Is he good to Allah or is he bad with Allah? Is he a bad person or is he a good person? He's a good person because what is he doing? That is between Allah and that is between him. He takes drugs, he goes to drugs, he does everything. He watch pornography, he does he alcohol, he goes to clubbing, he does everything. But in when it comes to the between husband and wife, he loves his wife. He's humble, he respect her, he care about her, he treat her like a queen. And that woman, that wife, sneaks into the things of her husband. And because of that, that shaitan asks her to do that. How does he do that? Because let's understand something. The, the, the relationship between the husband and the wife is the only relation in the world that shaitan enjoys to play a role between these two. And cause what his main goal is to cause a fitna. How does he cause the fitna? He will ask a husband when your wife is not there, go investigate on her. What is she going? Where is she going? What does she do? Leave her alone. You filling up your character between Allah because you what is obligated from Allah to you is respect her, love her, care about her, treat her like a queen. If he's doing that, so what is he doing in his personal life? That is between Allah and that is between the ibadi. That has nothing to do with the wife.